basketball team under the guidance of first-year head coach Jim Turgeon has doubled their win total of a year ago with 12. But there is plenty of work for the Pioneers to do defensively after giving up 118 points Wednesday night. The task this afternoon is a tall one as South Dakota comes in battling for the conference title. It's the DU Pioneers and the Coyotes of South Dakota and they collide next on Altitude Sports. It's a beautiful day on the University of Denver campus. It's late January, and that means you're in the thick of conference play. Every game is important for the DU women. And today, quite the challenge as South Dakota comes in, and the Coyotes have won 10 consecutive games. Yes, they are the team to beat in the Summit Conference. Hello, everyone. Todd Romero. I am pleased to introduce our new partner at Color Commentating, and that is Katie Wingy. Katie. A McDonald's All-American nominee, played at Illinois State senior year, leader, three-point shooting, leading scorer on the team. So if you got some insight for us, I'm excited to have you here. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on, Todd. I'm so excited to be here and so excited to get back to my college women's basketball roots. Well, you know, playing the game, that January can be a grind. You've practiced so much, you've played so much already, and really a good month for the Pioneers so far. Yeah, absolutely, Todd. You can see some good wins there for them, but these last two games, they've really struggled on the defensive end, giving up 200 plus points in those past two games so that's a focus here tonight going up against South Dakota. Yeah that's not a good to get it done and to control South Dakota you've got some very good basketball players and Allison Arns is one that can really do it all. Now a junior has exploded on the scene this year. She's a very experienced leader for the South Dakota team. As a freshman she didn't play very much. As a sophomore her load was much bigger. She really scored a lot for this team and now they're experiencing a lot more balanced scoring so she's able to play a little freer. She's very aggressive and does a great job getting to the free throw line. She's got a great surrounding cast as well for the pioneers on the other side well Jim Turgeon wants to build around youth and in Claire true grit he's got one and grit really her play described by her last name there she's aggressive she's great on both ends of the floor but it was really her defense that got her noticed as a freshman here but consistent all across the board someone that the pioneers are looking to build a program around absolutely and a bit of a treat Katie covered a couple of these ladies when they were in high school so we'll be looking for that insight throughout the game absolutely all right Katie Wingy and I will have the call of the DU women take on South Dakota. The Coyotes have won 10 straight. Can the Pioneers break that streak next on Altitude? Pioneer basketball on Altitude is presented by Honey Smoked Salmon, the energizing superfood protein of the future. By Frost Brewed Coors Light. Whatever your mountain, climb on. By Pepsi, the official soft drink of the Denver Pioneers. And by U.S. Bank the official bank of Denver Athletics. Welcome back to Magnus Arena as we get you set for women's basketball here on Altitude. Todd Romero alongside Katie Wingy and the Pioneers starting lineup will be a little bit different than it has been in past, Katie. Claire Grit, Breezy Johnson, Lauren Lovin inserted into the starting lineup as is Sierra Morgan and Jordan Alt. The Pioneers are coached by Jim Turgeon, 12 and 10 in his first year as the Pioneers coach. They've already doubled the win total from a year ago. Absolutely, and you see Lauren Lovin in that lineup. She had a phenomenal game last game out. She 28 points, new career high for her, so not surprising to see her in that starting lineup. They're going up against a great team of guards with South Dakota, so you got to see more guards in that high lineup too. Yeah, and I think you hit it right on the money. Take a look at the Coyotes starting five. Allison Arns is a junior, leads the way of scoring at 12.5 points per team. Kiara Duffy, a sophomore guard, J.C. Bradley. Madison McKeever, who does it all defensively and can pour in the three as well. And Kate Liveringhausen at the forward. The head coach, Don Flitchy White, in her second year. And Katie, we talked to her this week. She certainly did not inherit a program where the cupboard was bare. Not at all. And I mean, you talk about the big three, which is funny because they're all guards with the South Dakota team. But you've got Duffy, you've got Arns, you've got Bradley, and all three of those are very experienced, especially with this motion offense. Look out for that with South Dakota. All right, time for the Coors Light keys to the game. Katie, what do you have for us? What do the Pioneers need to do to stay into this one? Well, Pios need to dominate the boards, especially those offensive boards. They are leading the Summit League, crashing the offensive boards. And not only that, they need to take advantage of those and finish those extra opportunities that they're going to get. They also need to take care of the ball. The last time these two teams played, South Dakota scored too many points off of their turnovers. So 
Pios need to be sure they're taking care of the ball, making the right passes, being smart, and being patient offensively. Absolutely. Well, we'll see what the Pioneers, they will, Katie, they will need to do everything at a high level to stay in this game. The Pioneers have had some ups and downs. I think defensively you want to see some growth from this team, especially coming off giving up 208 points. You mentioned those last two games, and in practice this week, that's been a focus for this team is getting back on track defensively. Look for them to strategically play South Dakota based on personnel. Both these teams shoot a lot of threes, so they're going to need to contest those shots, but they move a lot in their motion offense, so they need to pack it in a little bit more to limit those cuts and easy baskets. Well, Sierra Morgan, CC Morgan, she goes by. She only averages 1.9 points per game. She's not on the floor to play offense. She is all defensive focus. Look for her to be a leader defensively for Denver tonight. Here we go, and the Pioneers win the tip, and Claire Grit comes up with the basketball, and the Pioneers off and running. Breezy Johnson gives off now up top to Lauren Lovin. See the South Dakota defense, very good, but Lovin drives in, loses control of the basketball, and that will be way of the Coyotes. Not the way you want to start with a turnover for DU. Like I said, the last time these two teams faced each other, South Dakota had a lot of points off of their turnover, so they need to take care of the ball. Madison McKeever brings the ball up for South Dakota, as we told you on the onset. They've won 10 consecutive games. Over to Arns, now back up top. And a long-range three, and that one's good. J.C. Bradley reels it in, and that's the danger of this team. Any of these ladies get hot. And Bradley is the best three-point shooter on the South Dakota team, debatably. She shoots the most threes. She's a great cutter, can move well without the ball. But three-point shooting is what she does. Lauren Lovin with an opportunity, passes it up, goes for two, has the jumper. That one off the rim, no good. McKeever with the rebound. Back the other way comes the Coyotes. Coyotes give off in the corner to Arns. Back up top, Duffy. Back to Arns, gonna let go from three. That one off the rim, no good. And the Pioneers with the basketball. Great job rebounding on that. A lot of the threes will be shot tonight, so we gotta have those long rebounds, weak side boards. Breezy Johnson with the little knife in. Great job by Breezy Johnson, but she can't finish. You gotta use the backboard. Madison McKeever giving up top to her center, Livering House. Now around the rotation for South Dakota. This team will cut dish inside. They'll do just about everything with this guard heavy lineup. You see Denver too packing it in a little bit, trying to limit those easy baskets for South Dakota on those cuts. Jordan Alt pulls down the rebound, gives to CC Morgan, back out to Lauren Love and thought about jacking up the three, doesn't. While the Pioneers need to attack, they also need to stay patient. And driving in is CC Morgan, your defensive specialist. And Todd, you mentioned they need to attack. They've had a great aggressive mentality from the tip in this game so far. Just making those baskets, finishing those easy ones is going to be key for them. Be interesting to see South Dakota coming off a huge win against a rival. Another three up. That around and out is tossing it up with Kira Duffy. Back comes CC Morgan. Score here early, 3-2. Breezy Johnson with the basketball, looking to penetrate. She's got McKeever on her, she takes McKeever to the rack, and there you see that defensive cutoff there. And really, McKeever forced that play. Absolutely, and you see Breezy driving in and dishing out. That's one of the things that she's best at for this DU team, something she really needs to do tonight. Drive in, have the defense collapse on her, kick out for those open threes. Ends up as a jump ball, the possession area goes to South Dakota. But you saw that was a perfect example. You and I talked prior to the broadcast of the defense that Madison McKeever plays. She is so scrappy. She really leads the defense for the South Dakota team. She's sneaky, she does a lot, gets a lot of steals during the game. We see them convert on the offense bend. Crossover dribble, she takes it in all the way, but Jordan Alt pulls down her second rebound. Now to Breezy Johnson, back over to Sierra Morgan. CC slows things down for the Pios. So, so far, the Pioneers hitting the boards like you talked about. That's something that they need to do this game, especially as I mentioned earlier. There's going to be a lot of threes. There's going to be a lot of long rebounds. Limit the opportunities that South Dakota gets on offense. Checking into the game for the Pioneers is Sam Romanowski, number 22. Morgan dribbles in, kicks back out to Breezy Johnson. Pass wasn't good enough to get off a three, but she's going to draw a foul inside on South Dakota. The whistle should be on Kira Duffy. Good things happen when Breezy's able to drive in, get into that lane, and find open looks on the outside. There wasn't anybody that moved up to that spot, which the other players on Denver need to do a better job of relocating off of her drives, but that's exactly what they want to do on offense. And check that. That fill goes on 15. Taylor Frederick, who checked into the game. Pass inside to Grit. Nice faking off the window, and this one rolls in. And the Pioneers with the first lead of the afternoon at 4-3. Grit is so composed when she gets the ball inside. Her fake game is phenomenal, especially as a freshman. She's so calm and collected. 
McKeever up top for South Dakota. She's got Breezy Johnson on her. Gives off to Allison Arns. Arns now sees an opening with that left hand. She doesn't need much. She does not, and she's so quick off the dribble. Reads the defense super well. Crafty finish on that one, too. How about Grit's body control but can't get it? Jordan Alt tries to get the rebound, and here we go off and running on a track meet. It's 5-4, South Dakota. Open three, Arns going to put it up. That one rims out, and if the Pioneers can get that kind of defense, they're going to be in this game. Those are the kind of shots that they want them taking. Quick in transition. They're not quite set. Throw those up. Quick offensive possessions. Breezy Johnson in the corner thought about it, pulled it back out. Now to Sam Romanowski, kicks it out. Breezy fakes the three, goes in. She gets bumped. That'll be on McKeever. That aggressive mentality by Breezy early on in this game has been great. That's exactly what they need, especially from their point guard, getting inside, creating opportunities for Denver, drawing in that defense, creating some open looks. Jasmine Tromboli checks into the game for the South Dakota Lady Coyotes. We'll talk about her in a moment because you have some more information on her. The Pioneers inbounds. Sierra Morgan now to Breezy. That's going to be an offensive foul. That's going to go on to Claire Grit. We just talked about Jasmine Trimboli, number five for South Dakota. There's a connection between her and Jim Turgeon. Absolutely, yeah. Trimboli was actually playing in Australia, and Turgeon was a big part of getting her to play over here in the United States. They actually played together. She played for him at Iowa Community College, Iowa Western Community College is, I believe, where it was. Then he comes down to... Uh, Pueblo for CSU Pueblo, and now they're in the same conference, so we had to know how she plays. Absolutely. There you see the quickness. Nice reach in by Sierra Morgan, and that's the reason she's in the starting lineup. They need that defensive mentality. Getting in there, making things really tough for South Dakota. Anytime that Denver in this game can make things uncomfortable for them on the offensive end, great job reaching in there, getting all ball. Help side defense, but on that play there, Kira Duffy gets the bucket in the Coyotes with the three-point lead as they're able to give and go. Romanowski on the wing. She gets a pick. Can't get it off. But Grit can. Long distance three. Nothing but nylon for Claire Grit. She is always down and ready to shoot. That's one of the things that makes her so effective on the offensive end. She's got a very quick release, always ready. So early on, the Pioneers trading buckets with South Dakota. The Coyotes again coming to this one on a 10-game win streak, beating the likes of Creighton. Chloe Lamb lets this one go from three, and that one rebounded. Great job on the boards for Abby Curtin and the Pioneers. So they're doing exactly what you said, rebounding the basketball. Jordan Alt, that one a little bit too strong. Orange with the rebound. Back the other way comes South Dakota. This is a very high-paced game right now. We're seeing a lot of threes already. That one jacked up and no good by Duffy. You saw it bounce on the rim, but you don't see them miss by much. They're one of six. This is a perfect recipe for the start for the Pioneers. This is exactly what they needed to do. Get them a little rushed when they're shooting those transition threes. They have to think twice about it, then get those boards. Romanowski with the opportunity now kicks out to Grit. Grit looking for some area. That ball reached in. I think it's going to go off Grit. She thought perhaps that Tromboli had touched the ball, but that's not going to happen. It's going to be... Possession arrow going in the way of South Dakota. 4.07 left in the first. We're tied up at seven. There's a long distance triple. 